Hey, what's up guys? Coach Dan here. I'm coming live from my uh, basement here today for you guys. So what I wanted to go over with you guys today is a quick workout that you can do um, at home. So I know a lot of you guys are busy. You're on the go all the time. Uh, you may not be able to get into the gym the three or four times a week um, that you want to get in. So for today, I got for you guys a simple strength workout that you guys can do at home for those days that you're not able to get into the gym. Okay. So what we got, all you need is two pieces of equipment for this workout, okay? We got some light dumbbells right here. You guys can pick up a pair of these anywhere from like 10 to 25 pounds. You'll see the exercises I'm gonna do with them in a second. You can just kind of judge what's the best resistance for you. Um, the other pair of equipment I got here is just some bow slides or furniture movers. You guys can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot for a couple bucks, really easy to pick up. Again, they're just furniture movers. So um, what we got today, guys, is five exercises. We got one exercise for every major movement. Um, every exercise we're going to do 12 reps and then there's a couple different variations we can do um, as far as time goes and I'm going to talk about those at the end. Okay, So with the five exercises, the first one we're going to do is a lateral lunge. We need one bow slide for that. We're going to grab our dumbbells. I'm going to keep my toe straight ahead the whole time. But what I'm going to do is whatever leg is on the bow slide here, that's the leg that's going to stay straight and slide out to the side, okay? So it's going to slide out to the side. I'm going to squat down with this leg, really drive that hip back, make sure the knee's not going over the toe, pull the shoulders back, one dumbbell on the outside of my leg, one on the inside, keep this toe straight ahead. I'm going to pull right through the groin and the adductor shear straight back up, okay? So again, shoulders back, dumbbells come down, big pull on the ground, slide back up, okay? Big thing with this one is don't let that toe get out, keep it straight ahead as we go down. Okay, we could also do this with body weight too if it's too challenging with the dumbbells. And we're gonna go 12 reps on each side on that one, okay? Next, we're gonna go into our push-ups. This is one of my favorite exercises here with the bow slides. What you guys are gonna do is put your hands into here. I'm gonna keep my shoulders back just like I would in a good push-up position, okay? Abs are gonna stay tight, butt's gonna stay tight, make sure my lower back's not arched, my hips are right underneath me. I'm gonna let these slide out to the side, bend elbows like I would in a normal push-up, come up, and pull together so we get kind of a fly motion there at the top too. Great chest exercise here. If that's too difficult, you guys can also do it kneeling. So I'm on my knees now. My hips come with me though. Make sure my butt doesn't stay up in the air. Come down, elbows bend, and then pull together. Okay. An alternative to that, if those are too challenging, would just be regular push-ups, right? From there, we're going to go into what we call a shoulder elevated hip extension or shoulder elevated glute ridge. You're going to use a bench, couch, chair, whatever you got to use for this one. With this, I'm just going to get the bottom of my shoulder blades right on the edge of the bench. I wanna make sure my heel is right underneath my butt, okay? What I'm gonna do is bring one knee to the chest, keep my hips nice and even so I don't let one fall. I'm gonna drop the butt down, come up, squeeze the butt at the top and really make sure my glutes and my butt are doing all the work. Drop the hip down, come up, squeeze at the top. Okay, I want my chin to come down with me as well as I come down and up so I don't keep my chin up here and pull through my neck. The other thing with this one is we really wanna drive through the heel, okay? We don't wanna come down Put all that weight in our toe, really drive through the heel, make sure the butt's doing all the work at the top, make sure it's turned on at the top. Okay, if you're feeling that too much in your hamstring, bring the heel a little closer to the butt and then do that same motion. Okay, if you're still feeling that a lot in your hamstrings or in your lower back, we just drop down to the ground, right, and just go into that single leg glute bridge, takes a little bit of pressure off. But bottom line with either one of those guys, we want to be feeling that in our glutes, not in our lower back and hamstrings. Okay, next we take the light dumbbells. We're going to go into what's called a renegade row. This is also a great anti-rotation or core exercise. What I'm going to have to do is turn on my obliques and my hips so that when I pull up, I'm not opening up my hips. Okay, so a great core exercise here too. Push up position, shoulders stay back, get feet a little wider than normal. So when I pull, I'm not rotating. I'm keeping my hips parallel to the ground. Drive the elbow up, come back down. Drive the elbow up, come back down, right? That's too challenging. We go kneeling position, still keep the abs tight. Make sure the lower back's not arched. We pull from that kneeling position, okay? And then we're also going to go into another core exercise, and this is going to be our body size, okay? So with the body size, you guys are going to go toes on the bow slide, plank position, shoulders back, abs tight, butt tight, make sure my lower back's not arch, my hips are nice and tight, abs stay tight, push back, pull forward. I'm not letting my butt get up in the air, just pushing back and forth through my lats, okay? That's a great anti-extension core exercise, okay? So, five exercises with that, guys. There's a couple different ways we can time it. We can go through one full round of that, take about a minute, minute and a half rest, go through it again and do that three or four times, so just three or four sets with a minute or two in between. 
If you guys want to work on a little more fat loss and keep your heart rate up a little more, you can do it in a density format, which just means I'm going to put 20 minutes on the clock and I'm going to go as many rounds as I can get in 20 minutes. Okay. And if this is one you guys are going to do multiple times, each time you do the density one, obviously you can try to beat how many rounds you got last time. Caveat with that though, is you guys got to keep good, good form. Don't sacrifice form to get through faster. Okay. If you guys have any questions, hit me up on my Facebook page or on Twitter and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.